Welcome to Dakman Productions and welcome to Conahay Rail. Uh, it's, I noticed it's been quite some time since I did a uh, run or a train run. And uh, so I figured while I was in the middle of my summer updates, let's have some fun and run a train. So I guess I should explain this train a little bit. So I ran into a photo, I believe it was Union Pacific or Norfolk Southern, but probably Union Pacific uh, had a train that had like six or eight 60 foot box, auto parts box cars uh, coupled to the front of an auto rack train. And I was like, oh, that would be a cool train to run. So I figured I would buy six or eight 60 foot auto parts box cars to couple in front of my auto racks. Well, you know how things go. You buy so many and then you're like, you still see ones that you like. <laughs> so, I ended up buying, I believe, 16 of them all together. So I got more than enough to mix to mix in different types of auto parts box cars in with my auto racks. So you know, the 60 foot auto parts box cars are different than the 89 foot high cube box cars. So these are not the 89 foot high cube box cars. I do have a unit train of those I can run as well. I own 16 of them currently. I have run them uh, a couple times and you can see videos of them. However, this 60 foot auto parts box car train or unit train is new. So these are all box cars that I have not run before until today. So we're going to see how this works out because I also really haven't tested my outside loop since I've been doing all these updates. So I'm hoping there's no dips in the track where the train comes off.
All right, thank you for watching this video. However, before we go, for those of you who stay tuned for the whole entire video, uh, unfortunately, this run, this was the first run. It did not go well. So, um, what happened? All right, so I had problems with the last seven cars. Now, the last seven cars, starting with this Conrail one, can we guess at the name brand of the last seven cars I had issues with? Well, they were Lionel. So this train, the first part of the train, is all Atlas of the Master Series. The last seven cars are Lionel 60 foot box cars. That being said, um, four of those cars had the milk car trucks. So what was happening? Well, the last seven cars kept the railing. The front cars did not. At first, I was going to blame the milk trucks. But, however, the even the original issue or original issue of Lionel 60 foot box cars, the early issue, which did not have the milk car trucks, were also derailing. So, instead of pulling them off, saying, okay, heck with it, I'm going to sell them, get rid of them, not run them, whatever. By trade, I am a diesel tech. My job is to figure out what the engineers at the manufacturing school screwed up and why it doesn't work. So, that's what I do for a living. And believe me, I have done that several times. I've worked for dealerships and so worked with engineers say hey you better fix this on the next production run but at any rate so that's what I did in this case I figured out what was going on here so the for those who are trying to run the Lionel 60 foot box cars add weight to them they are not heavy enough uh, even running singly I'm gonna guess they're still too light even throwing them in the back my back car, the car all the way near the caboose was even derailing, the 60 foot line out box car. They are way too light. You gotta add weight to them. They'll run perfect. Even the uh, milk car truck uh, 60 foot box cars ran very well uh, when I added weight to them. Uh, did not have any derailment issues but keep in mind I am running on 080 and 072 on this high rail layout. So. I don't know how well they'll perform on 054 because the milk car trucks do not have pivoting couplers on them like the earlier run of the Lionel 60 foot box cars did. So uh, I solved the problem. The train ran great after I added weight. There's your tip. Thank you for watching another Dakman Productions video. I will be back at the train shows. Uh, they're starting to. Uh, they're starting back up come September, August, October. I will be bringing you train show videos once again. Thank you for hanging out with Dakman Productions during the showstopper uh, in 2020. We'll see you guys later. Bye.